So let's go ahead and give each of these boxes a name. The people with the disease who tested positive are the true positives. The people who tested negative despite having the disease are false negative. The people who tested positive for the disease despite being normal are false positive and the people who tested negative when they were normal are going to be true negative. Now let's talk about sensitivity first. Another name for sensitivity is the true positive rate. So it's the number of people who tested positive for the disease out of the total number of people who did have the disease. So from our table down here, this is going to be the true positive, which was 150, divided by the total number of people who had the disease, which is 200. So that's going to be true positive upon total positive multiplied by 100. Putting in some values here, it's going to be 150 upon 200 multiplied by 100, which is going to be 75%. So the sensitivity of this test is 75%. So the sensitivity of the test tells us how good of a test it is to be used for screening. Why is it used for screening? Because it tells you how many people was it able to detect who actually had the disease out of the total number of people who had the disease. So the better a test is at catching the people who actually have the disease, the better it is to be used as a screening test. A mnemonic for this given in first aid is SNOUT. SNOUT means SN, which is for sensitivity, and OUT, which means that it rules out. So if a test who has, which has a high sensitivity says that you have tested negative for the disease, then you are most probably negative for that disease. But a highly sensitive test, when it says that you're positive for the disease, means that you've qualified for the next round of investigations. That's it for sensitivity. Watch the next video for specificity.